It is Sunday, and it's gonna be a spectacular day today. I am at the Art Center College of Design for the Art Center Car Classic. I'm gonna be judging along with a lot of other very cool people. I'm bringing you guys, it's gonna be an awesome show. We're up at Art Center, hanging out with Ken. Oh my gosh. Incredible cars just, are rolling in. away. Show's not open yet. There's no people here except for the people that are bringing the cars in. And there is some spectacular oh cars here. Pinch me, smack I, me. I'm not touching you, no, no, but I'll touch the cars. <laughs> Orville? Shoulder. We're having breakfast. The cars are being set up right on track. It's still only about 8.30, so uh, there's not a lot going on other than setting the cars up. A lot of the press are coming in. There's a helicopter in the show. I, I don't know what that's about, but there's a helicopter right over here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Now, probably the most important thing is that judging for the Art Center Car Classic is very different than judging for the Pebble Beach Golf Course. And I know a lot of you do both. And so, so let me just uh, say, you know, we're not going to worry about grass flippings of the treads. We're not going to worry about the screw heads lining up. You know, we're really, we're not going to worry so much about that. It's really about recognizing design. It's about kind of helping to celebrate the vehicles that are out there. Right off the bat, the judges are looking at Ken's car. I can't be involved in that, so I'm just gonna hang out, let them do their thing. What do you think? <laughs> So I'm one of three judges, this gentleman here, this gentleman here, and we're judging the customs and hot rods. I don't see a room. That patina's awesome. This is the Team Hot Rod Judge group. Mm, yeah. Kind of. <laughs> All right, we, how many cars have we looked at? A uh, total of seven or eight, we're supposed to be 12. We're, we're totally confused, <laughs> <laughs> have no yeah, idea. Awesome. Uh, but we're considered experts for some reason. Uh, the lovely smiles, yeah. <laughs> your, your favorite so far? Um, I love that the HD, the, the Harley Davidson, the, the hill, hill climber, climber yeah, bike is pretty cool. That's, 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 pretty, that's your favorite. But there's something about that bike, that hill climb bike. Alright, so if I, can, if, I can, if I can wrangle the keys to one of these cars, which one would it be for you? Uh, the Aerodine Poisson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> it wasn't going to be the bike. Dave Merrick in the house, right here. What are you judging? GT cars? I'm judging everything I see. Oh man. My goodness. How are you? I thought it was a still picture. I had a chance to look around at these incredible machines. What's good so far? What do you like? 
There is an Alfa Romeo Prototipo over there in the far corner, a red one. Uh, yeah. The Bertone Speciale. Why Why can't people point out something that we're near? So I, now I gotta walk Oh, no, no, okay. There. You know what's, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for that guy to, to, to stop talking. <laughs> He's been there for like a half an hour. What the hell does he have to say? I don't know. I wanna take a picture of this car and he's sitting there waving his arms yeah, in the back car. This is the pain that we go through as journalists, right? <laughs> center and looking at these spectacular cars behind us is something truly extraordinary. Yeah, this is the Stout Scarab from 1936. The Peterson brought it. 1936! Someone was really thinking ahead. You know, the, the fact that you could have gone to a showroom in 1936 and this was state of the art. Oh, yeah. It blows my mind. It was the future. Buck Rogers. What's cool about this show? Really cool cars, really cool car people. Everyone at Who's Who from the design world, you probably know half of them. I know some of them. I know who they are. It's like, oh my gosh, they're so-and-so, they're so-and-so. If you have a car today on the road that you just bought, the designer's probably here somewhere. Very good chance. Very yeah. good chance. I was just walking around with Dave Merrick, head of Acura. Yep. Uh, some amazing examples. The NSX is over here. That's right. Oh, what's your favorite so far? Okay, there's a 66 Shelby Mustang, wife of the original owner, the widow. He was an instructor here. Joe he worked Rare. for Shelby, and it was his daily driver, and Stuart Reed said he was in the faculty parking lot every day. Right. Parked right next to Strother McMinn's uh, XK120. Fantastic. We're yeah. going to take a look at that right now. Okay, have you guys had a chance to walk around and look yes. at the show? Yes, we have. Have you, have you picked your favorite? Not yet, because you need a, a lot of time to pick a favorite. There's too many, there's too so many, many amazing options. cars. Yeah, there is. Yeah. And Henrik's walking around and he's just blurry-eyed. He's just overwhelmed with all the coolness that's well, happening in this show. Well, totally. of course, he's like a kid in a candy store. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> exactly. Well, we're going to try and figure out what the best is here. But are you guys having a good time? We're having a great mm -hmm. time. Yeah. I'm doing great. How are you doing? You're, you're having to field a lot of questions today. Yeah. Because you have something really cool coming down the pipeline. That's right. I'm launching Fisker Inc. Uh, Fisker again. And we are having a new electric car with the world's longest range, 400 miles. Wow. And some amazing doors you call butterfly doors. Yes. Is, is, uh, is Vegas 400 miles? You know, if you drive slowly, you might just about get there. Because that's what we're going to do. When your car comes out, we're going to Vegas. Let's go to Vegas. Uh, for no it. reason other than just because we can. Yeah. Uh, do you have a favorite here at the show? Uh, you know, that Maserati Bora here is amazing. That's one of the first supercars I remember. And it, it, it was just when I saw it come down the road, it just looked like a, a, a you know a UFO. Oh, yeah. It was so modern at this time. How, how old were you when you saw this car? You know, I probably been around nine years old, nine years old. Yeah. Ten years old. yeah. Nine, nine, bro. What car did you have up on your wall? I, of course, had the Lamborghini Countach. <laughs> well, I don't want to take up too much of your time because you're enjoying the show, enjoying the cars. I talked to your wife and your daughter. It's great to see you again. They are incredible cheerleaders for you. Thank you. We're very excited about the car coming. All right. Have fun. Okay. Car owners and hearing the stories behind these wonderful vehicles. If you notice, uh, turn over towards the stage of the hill, you see these two giant orange balloons. Why are you taking off these cars? Those You're little horse power boats. No, it's Tim's the star right now. I know. Up, 
Paul. Wonderful, wonderful car. I'm just and, amazed uh, at how beautiful this Sprint Special is. Over the other side of the helmet. driving hey. Dave around because right. uh, I'm going to be the chauffeur. I'm on a show how the back seat has this luxury part of the car. Front performance, rear luxury. I'll, I'll take you wherever you want to go. Right, man. Now we're shooting video, Barry. Oh, we're shooting video. Because you are... I'm on video? You're much no better <laughs> when you're moving. You've walked around the show. And, uh, Is there anything that, that kind of gets you excited? Is there any one car thing car here? Car. You know, I never pick a car. Do whatever I know. You on this because car. I like to be to right, Dave, uh, uh, Whatever car I pick, somebody else is not happy with me. Yeah, and, and I, want, I want everybody to be happy with me. Folks, we so, 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 it's true words from the master. I'll emcee the judging, but I'll never judge. We're just grateful that you're here. What an amazing thing. It's incredible. Every car here is connected. Successful show, a lot of great stuff going on. Amazing stuff, like this right there. Where else can you go and see that? Good job, man. So many great cars, so many incredible people. Experience, and again, those truly blessed to have gone to this school. Design, and I hope you're all having as much fun as Barry and I are up here. So. Impossible. We're moving now into the uh, anticipated award ceremony portion of the show, and I'd like to ask all exhibitors who have been notified that they're receiving the award to come up, and I think we have most of them up here. Uh, what do you think of this year's theme that is built by hand? Oh, I love the theme, and it, it, it definitely kind of thoughts of, of the earliest days of the automobile. Exotics, and that speaks for itself what exotics are. Uh, we have a group of competition cars, that's one more category. Uh, Hot Rods and Customs is always a favorite here at this show. Frank Salcedo, is anybody more of a staple here than Frank? <laughs> <laughs> he's one of these, he's amazing. And uh, Director of General Motors Advanced the Design Studio, of course. Henry Pisker, founder and CEO of HF Group. Uh, John Saws, interior design manager for Nissan Design. Richard Petriska, our esteemed professor here for the school for a whole lot of years. Uh, John Francis Marsh and Fireball Tim Lawrence. So uh, quite a quite a group. 